He did his past is back in the spotlight as a sweeping federal trafficking probe into the rapper is set to widen after agents raided his mansion in connection to the investigation. Club New York shooting from 1999 and the sensational 2001 trial could possibly be reinvestigated as a part of the probe, two law enforcement officers told the New York Post. This is a situation that happened with Shine, which Shine ended up serving 10 years for Diddy, and Diddy sent them out to do it. He had a 9 millimeter, and you already know for a fact that the way that he did that to do, do was hurt in the club. He let off in the club. R.P. Tupac, R.P. Kim Porter, Get Well Cassie, R.P. Heavy D. A lot of people feel that Diddy, he needs to be held accountable for every action that he took. The way that they said that he's a probe in this trafficking investigation, Diddy been on the feds radar for about two to three years right now. Everybody know that they've been investigating all these cases and that's been happening, revolving and surrounding Diddy. Diddy, he bogus for what he did to these people. And he sent Shine to go do that to dude in that club all because Diddy didn't like the dude, the victim. Diddy is falling into the same footsteps as his father. Diddy is the main one who needs to basically take full accountability for everything that he did and every action that he took. These people know that the VHS footage from Michael Jackson, Kim Porter, Tupac, and Cassie it all goes back to young Miami knowing what was going down in that house this whole time. And she never stepped forward to say nothing. So, so you commenced and had all this information when you could have basically shared it this to the light to stop P. Diddy from doing this to these people further on. A lot of people thought that T.D. Jakes wasn't going to speak out. But Jay-Z, he was the main one that told Beyonce she can't go to no more Diddy parties. Diddy was the main one who tried to basically make a move at Beyonce and tell her to go in one of their rooms. This is why Beyonce spoke out and said that she not on none of their side, regardless of what they got going on. Diddy needs to be held accountable for everything that he did. R.I.P. Kim Porter, because Kim Porter was trying to expose him at the beginning, and this is what made him even had him to do this. The feds said that Diddy had his head of security to go over there to Kim Porter house 10 minutes before she passed away. It's crazy how we are literally watching everything unravel. At the end of the day, this all started with Cassie's allegations and lawsuit, and it turned into multiple allegations and lawsuits. This has brought a lot of attention to P. Diddy and everything that he does on a daily basis and everything he has done over the years. They are literally looking at reopening a closed case, a closed situation that they were done with it. They don't do that unless they have just cause. They have to have evidence that shows the circumstance warrants being reopened because they're reinvesting in that case. You guys got to think about the facts and everything that's going on. There is enough evidence for them to investigate P. Diddy. There is enough evidence for them to bring him in. But they are trying to build a case that is so strong that he will not be able to refute it. This is a man that thinks he can buy his way out of everything. He's got people that can literally resolve a situation for him in the matter of seconds, legal or not. And the dude that's ahead of his security, he was the main one who told Snoop Dogg he can't come to no more of the freak-offs. And he knew for a fact that they were spiking the drinks. It's a well-known fact that he had something to do with Tupac getting set up. Suge Knight, he was the first one to come out and say that it was $1 million put out on Tupac. And Tupac was Suge Knight artist. P. Diddy knew that they was going to come for him one day, but he already knew that he could pay his way out of everything. So this is what made him not scared to... Basically, step out there and continue to have these freak offs, continue to make TD Jakes come and bring Jermaine Jakes out there so that Jermaine Jakes can basically watch what's going on. P. Diddy, he recorded everybody who came in that mansion and everybody who pulled up to the mansion, even if they was in any unmarked car, he got their license plate. Everybody know that Diddy has all this footage stored up just so he can blackmail all these people. He don't want people to get above him. And this is sad because Diddy is doing this back to back. And we know for a fact that this is something that Diddy, he know that this is going to eventually catch up with him. And he's going to have to eventually confess to Tupac, Kim Porter, Biggie, and Cassie. 
He paid her all that money and he could have easily just confessed and said what really went down. But he ain't got to really say what happened because we know for a fact that Greg Caden was the main one who connected all these cases together. Reflecting back in an explosive lawsuit from February that alleges assaulted music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones and forced him to have sex with sex workers. Mr. Jones claims Diddy was often bragging about bribing witnesses and jurors in the criminal case concerning the 1999 New York City nightclub shooting with Shine. This is a man who knows no shame. This is a man that thinks he can buy his way out of everything. This is why the warrant are sealed so that he can't figure out what they're looking for right now, so that he can't be a step ahead. This is a man that literally defiled a jury and won his case. This is why when Young Miami even came around Diddy, she started happening to move stuff for Diddy, regardless of she wanted to or not. Young Miami, she's a victim just like all the other people. And everybody know for a fact that as soon as Young Miami get fed up, she's going to eventually turn on Diddy. So Diddy thinks that Fahim is going to keep his mouth closed. No, everybody knows for a fact that his entourage is going to tell. He was already arrested at the airport hopping out of the private jet and this is the shocking part about it did he got away that day they spoke upon what happened with michael jackson they basically gave him an inside scoop of that they're still investigating him and they may have to pick him up for questioning on everything that happened and everything that they found inside of that mansion in that master bedroom so i want everybody to know let me know in the comment section if you think that kim porter was trying to expose Diddy, which is her baby's father. Let me know if you think that she was trying to expose that he set up Tupac. And this is why she instantly got taken out the game. Allegedly already evidence surfacing footage of Diddy hanging out with 15 year old Justin Bieber has resurfaced after the rapper's home was raided in connection to a federal trafficking investigation. How much more evidence is really going to come to light? We don't know but it's gonna be incriminating. I don't see a way out of this for him. And we're literally gonna watch his empire unravel. He's either gonna sell off his businesses and try to keep them for his kids or some way work that. If you look, let's think logically, you're planning a new life for your kids because you know you're going down. He's got twin daughters, he's got his sons. On that same notion, a lot of shows and things I've been listening to and reading, they're suggesting the sons may be a part of it. This is why they was in handcuffs when they were standing outside during the raid. The discovery that the feds have brought upon Diddy, they raided all his mansions and they even raided his private island. So there's nowhere he can go. NYPD put out a bulletin stating that Diddy is going to be apprehended if he comes to New York at any moment. If he comes through customs, they're going to catch him. They're going to get him. This shouldn't have never even had to come to this, but did he know what he did and he was wrong for it? This is why T.D. Jakes is staying away from Diddy right now until the case is over with. There's pending charges against Diddy that everyone knows he's going to either have to settle out of court or he's going to have to do jail time behind it. R.P. Tupac, R.P. Kim Porter, get Will Cassie. I want everybody to know that Heavy D didn't just get set up and then just get taken out the game for no reason. And this is all coming from New York. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for updates.